Hey, g'day. It's the Silver Peaks Wanderer here. Today is the uh, Friday show and tell, and today I've just uh, picked up this lovely barn find 237 Coleman Lantern, made in England. And uh, we're going to see if we can get it going. It's uh, got the original kerosene in it. So hopefully we can uh, use that to, to fire it up. It may be a bit smelly, but we're gonna gonna give it a go anyway. So what I got this lantern, it came with a um, a primer for a a uh, tally lantern, which was quite nice. It probably paid pretty much for for this lantern, the price of the price of one of those, which is pretty much new, and a um, packet of silk light. I believe they might be twenty ones. I could be wrong. But, um, can't see where it's written on there actually what they are. I think this. 21s and um, yeah so I've already had a look at this with my friend the uh, the cleaning needle was was stuck on it I'll just um yeah so when I got it the uh, the cleaning needle was a bit stuck and a bit stiff so I've um, played around with that a wee bit and managed to loosen that up and um, the uh, valve here the valve wheel was actually jammed We've managed to unjam that as well. The um, fuel cap was stuck. I used a pair of um, vice grips and a bit of lever to protect the, the cap so I didn't mar it up, but I'd managed to use uh, 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 loosen that up. If you have a look on the inside here of the cap, you'll see it's actually uh, it's actually quite quite clean there. It's, it's in quite good condition. Looks like the, the seal is pretty good as well, so we're going to I'll leave that as the way it is. Yeah, the actual, uh, the actual inside of the the uh, the cap, the way that it screws in, looks pretty good as well. Quite clean. So it really just looks like the outside is the uh, the dirty part of the slander or the with the patina. I'm going to try and leave it the way it is. I think on this one, leave the patina. Yeah, so I might clean the, the top up a bit here. I've just got a, a bit of um, simple green here, so we'll just try that out, give it a bit of a clean. I'm not interested in trying to remove the rust as such, just the dust, and uh, try and keep the patina the way it is. So we'll see what that uh, what that does. Yeah, so we'll have a go at the, giving that a bit of a clean. Just a basic clean, nothing too major. Let's clean the, the dust off it more than anything. Try and uh, keep most of the patina. A bit of clean up around there. I'll bring you back when I've um, given it a bit of a clean there, eh? Yes, yeah, so the top of mine is a bit different to normal Coleman's. This has got a black top on it. I don't know if that's normal or not. I'm not, not 100% familiar with these uh, English made Coleman's someone out there might be able to tell me but this is just how I found it how, how it came to me and so yeah, in the inside here is a quite a large mantle I'm not 100% sure what it is but it hasn't been burnt out yet so we'll just uh, we'll take the take the uh, lid off and uh, burn that out for a start eh? Yeah, so I've got a bit of rust on the lid, but it's not too bad. A wee bit of a ding there. I might be able to try and take the take the ding out. Might even be able to push that out with my finger. I'll give the give that a go later on. The enamel on the inside's still there. Needs a bit of a bit of a clean. Let's give that a bit of a clean up. So if you're not familiar with these lanterns, this is a, a kerosene lantern. So it's uh, where the where the uh, this is a generator in here where that is, there's a priming dish at the bottom which will prime with a bit of methylated spirits but the uh, first thing I'll do before that is first I'll burn this uh, mantle out and then I'm going to try and get this pump cup to work it's not working at the moment, I think it just needs a bit of an oil so I'll throw some oil on that get that to go yes, it come with the lovely original uh, globe here if you can see that Coleman Pyrex made made in England. So 
uh, in, seems to be in good condition, the glide. Yes, uh, I don't actually have anything with me here at the moment to cut those ties, but I might be able to, I don't know if I can burn them off. See if we can burn the, the, the uh, silk ties off. They come off. Oh yeah, there we go, so we burn them off. We burn this mantle. So you might know what this mantle is, I, I can't really tell what it is. Looks like it's quite a large mantle. Like a even bigger than a triple one mantle, I could be wrong. Probably work quite well on this lantern because it's a it's a single mantle so probably uh, be good with a good size uh, mantle to heat this generator up. So we go and do priming Got using some methylated spirits and they're priming that up will heat it up anyway. Yeah, so I've, I've just put a bit of oil on the, the pump cup there. It feels like it's, I've put a few pumps in it, it feels like it's uh, holding pressure. Just see if that, uh, if that's the case with the, the fuel cap here. Oh yeah, you can hear that. So we've got, so we've got pressure. So that's good, it's holding pressure. So um, I'll just put a few pumps in and we'll throw a bit of mess in here. So we're using the original kerosene that was in here. This is the original mantle that came with it. Now this is just how I found it. So I'll just get a few, a few pumps in there. Working quite well this pump now. Hold and pressure. Now we'll just uh, stick a wee bit of mess in the in the pump cup here in the um, priming cup here rather. A bit of mess in there. Let's uh, prime that up. Might as well put this globe over back on it. Help the, keep the wind off it and keep it uh, heating that generator up. I'll put the lid back on it. We don't know what the story is with the generator, whether it's going to work or not. Like I say, it was it was jammed up when I got it, so I just spun it around about maybe 20 times to see if it was going to work. So uh, well, we'll see what happens, eh? It's all part of the fun and games of uh, getting old stuff and making it work. Yeah, so I'd just like to leave the patina that's on this lantern, leave it the way it is. And um, this will be my patina lantern. Some of them I'll clean up and... Uh, make shiny this is actually nickel but um, I'm going to keep it the way it is I think yes I can hear that kind of heating up in there quite nicely just let that burn down for a bit more and then I'll just um, spin the uh, cleaning needle around see if we get any light up action on the um, on the mantle there Turn that quietly, see what happens. And maybe we'll just uh, crank open the, the valve a little. Get a bit of something that's probably quite dry in there. Just, uh, Crank that around and see what happens, eh? Well, there she goes, look at that. Who knows how many years it could have been, uh, you know, 50 years of sitting in a, in a barn. 
And there she's going. Look at that. Beautiful. There's a bit of the dust and stuff and burning off. She's uh she's certainly seen some action. Beautiful. Um, near flutter spirits are still burning off there so it'll take a wee while just for that to, to burn out Let's crank it up a bit give it a few more pumps eh? Taking a while for that mess to burn out, burn down. That's pretty impressive, eh? Just uh, sitting there all these years, I've, like I say, I've done nothing to it. I haven't cleaned the generator, I haven't changed the tank. This is the original kerosene that was in there. Original mantle. Spin round on the um, cleaning needle. Yeah, so there we go, the uh, 237 Lantern. Don't know what year it was made. Someone might be able to tell me. I tried to find a year. Normally there's a year around with the on the side of the tank here under this out of the common sign but I couldn't find that does say made in England on it um, yeah it looks like there might be a wee bit of wee bit of leakage on the on the round the um, cleaning wheel here that might need a bit of a tighten it's not too bad though it's running really nice eh better clean again a few more pumps The old Coleman lanterns, they don't make them like they used to, eh? Oh well, hope you enjoyed this video, it's only just a, a wee one. Hey, have a good one, catch you the next one. Oh, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.